Ladies room open? Uh, no, but they... You went in the water fountain. Mm, yes. Sweet. I, I just crouched on top of it like a gargoyle. Yeah. Didn't even pull my pants down, to be honest with you. Why um, the hell wouldn't you pull your pants down? Are you wearing a skirt? It's the way. This is the way. This is the way. But if you're going to pee with your pants, you're going to pee your pants, why would you gargoyle up on the water fountain? Exactly. No, dude. You so- are a different breed of cat, aren't you? <laughs> Boy, somebody thinks Mary Santora is going to zig. She zags. You don't know anything about me. Nope. Um, so they have, our restrooms are closed. Our public restrooms are yes. closed. And they have like, I went and asked the leasing office because I went to our boss and I said, hey, what's the pee key situation? And he goes, I don't have one. I was like, so what are we supposed to do? And he goes, talk to the leasing office. They say that they have a solution. So I went to them, and the guy was like, I could let you up into a vacant apartment, but there's no toilet paper, soap, or paper towels. And I was like, okay. Just a bowl and water. Yeah, I was like, so that's not going to work. And he was like, okay, well, we have this, like, construction area that has a working restroom, so you can go in there. So it's, like, past where the men's room is, there's this big wide open. By the open, freight elevator? Yes, a big wide open construction area. And he's like, yeah, just use the women's room in there. If there's anything wrong, just let me know. And as soon as I opened the door, I was like, Ugh! like, I wanted to throw up. <laughs> It smelled so bad. Yeah, because everybody's been, it's a confined space. Is that what it is? No. One of the toilets looks like a day three of a festival porta potty. It is just overflowed with uh, uh, excrement. I listen. (laughs) And toilet paper. I know they they figure that at any given time there's about six people here at iHeart Cleveland. Still. Come on, man. So I go in there and then I checked all the stalls. Only one. Because this affects the restaurant too. Yes, only one of the stalls had toilet paper. So I went in there, but I'm like holding my breath the whole time because it smells so bad. And then I go to wash my hands and the, you put your hands under the sink and like you can hear the pipes clinking, but no water comes out. So then I'm like, I wonder if these toilets are even going to flush again. You know what I mean? So um, imagine if Mary like blew up whatever plumbing system they were working on. And, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so I guys, came we're back. just gonna demo the bathrooms and just start them from scratch. So long story short, just it's you worse. Didn't gargoyle on no, the water not. fountain? I went in the dirty bathroom and with I, I was when I was walking back out, the security guard was like running to where I was. She goes, "Girl, I was gonna tell you not to go in there. It's absolutely horrendous. It's been like that for three months." Mm. Is what she said. Because I think the construction there stopped. Yeah. They were putting something right next door to us here, and I think that has been paused or ceased Yeah, or something. Yeah, she was like, we've been complaining to have someone come and clean it up for months, and no one's come. So that's where they're directing us to go. Awesome. I don't, I don't know how the men's room is in that construction area, but the women's room is uh, horrendous. Hmm. So. Well, we can right. pee in an apartment without toilet paper. You guys can't. And yeah. I can't. I mean, I can try to wiggle drip dryer, take some paper towels <laughs> some, up with yeah, me or something, yeah. but yeah. I'm, I, I'm overdue for my midday pinch is what I'm saying. So I'm just going to be doubling up now when I get home. I'm going to have to walk in and rather than greeting and kissing my wife and child, I'm going to have to go, gah, 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 gah. I put my hand up. I'm going to have to go right for the nearest uh, bathroom. I probably won't gargoyle over my own kitchen sink sure? when I get home. I highly recommend it. <laughs> um, but, um, and boy, and, and again, so the ripple effects of this, if you will, are uh, going to mean that I'll be um, cumulatively spending less time with my wife and my child when I get home. You never think of how it affects other people, do you? Nope. <laughs> you just never think about it. Hey, Becky. Hi. Hi. How what's are you up? Guys? Good. What's going on? Oh, I up to last week, I was a driver for Amazon, and with Amazon, the thing that sucks is you don't have a bathroom. Now, a guy, he could pee in a bottle, which is nasty, because what they do is they leave that bottle in the van, and then you'll come to work the next day, and here's this pee bottle. Oh, they don't so, take it with them. So they, they they leave the, uh, what do they call them, Bill? What do the truckers call them? Trucker bombs? Yeah, trucker bombs. They don't take it with them when they leave the vehicle? No. Just no, to, just to throw it away somewhere? They just go, oh, I'll leave it for the, is it because they figure it's going to be a guy, or they just don't care? They just don't care. What, so, why don't you get a um, shiwi or one of those funnels? 
Well, actually, what I did was I ended up going to Dollar Tree. Yeah. I ended up getting watering can, and I ended up being in that in the back of the van due to the fact that, you know, sometimes you're in a rural area and you can't find a place to pee, and then you just dump it out the door. Yeah. Out of, a, wa- out of, a, out of a watering can. Yes, but here's the crazy part. Now. That wasn't a, the crazy uh, part. Port- okay. No, that's not the crazy part. Yeah. The crazy thing is, like, if you can find a porta potty, the porta potties, you learn which ones are clean and which ones suck. Well, I was in Avon Lake delivering. There was this elderly lady that came out of her house with her phone. She starts videotaping me and asking me, Did you pay for that porta potty? And I said, No, but I can give you some money. She said, I'm going to turn you in for trespassing and stepping on my property. And a friend of mine said, Well, you know, she had construction going on in her house. She didn't pay for that porta potty. The company did. So I did not know that, or I would have told her. Well, what ended up happening, and I did tell her, she said to me, She goes, Well, why aren't you going down the street to go to the bathroom where you belong? I said, ma'am, I said, the bathrooms are too far away. I said, and besides, sometimes you just have to stop and go wherever you can. She said, well, you're not worthy of using my porta potty. I said, well, lady, yes. And she continued to video me and take pictures of me. And I said, what did you she know mean what? not I'm worthy? Well, because I'm apparently the help from the, from the movie. I don't know. But you weren't but, you weren't um, delivering well, anything to her, right? No, her next door neighbor. Yeah, why are people such dicks? Like, lady, it's your neighbor, all right? It's not you. It's these people who have nothing so, to do and all day to do it, man. Well, I ended up telling her that I was, you know, I think she thought I was going to call her a really, you know, like the B word, but I called her an old bat and mm. a stupid goat. And I think she was shocked that I didn't call her something she's already been called. So... I looked at her and I said, you know, I'm going to go to church and I'm going to pray for you so that I, you can get some empathy because you really suck. And then I was going to say to her, well, you know, ma'am, you're probably never going to need a porta potty because you appear to be wearing Depends. I mean, she was really mean about it. <laughs> you should. Well, you should. Next time you got to stick crone in your back pocket, Becky, throw crone at the yeah. old lady next time. So you just wait you know until what? I tell Alan Cox about this, lady, and then you drive off. Yep. Well, I would said I was going to bring a bunch of uh, immigrants from Mexico and drop them on their lawn. <laughs> I would bring a bus just so they can use the There you go. Body. The old DeSantis. Whip that on her. Yes. All right. Yeah. She yes, would have. She would have. She would have filmed you for human trafficking, Becky. Well, hey, it would have been humorous, wouldn't it? Have. I guess so. All right, listen, uh, take it easy. Uh, so you said you're not an Amazon driver anymore. No, I'm not. Is it's it... hard work. I don't care oh, what I anybody know. tells you. It is I don't know. Hard I, don't, work. I don't understand these people who think that that's like an easy gig. I've talked about it. I've seen women out here on Euclid Avenue. There's always an Amazon truck pulled up here something because we're in a residential building or we're near one, right? And I've seen women get oh. out of these trucks – and they're loading these mat. They're these aren't two person trucks. I mean, these are you know, it's a single person in a truck. And um, listen, um, let me be diplomatic. These women aren't Olympians, all right. I mean, they're in like regular girl walking around shape, and um, they're loading giant packages under a dolly. One woman comes out here. She's got like her two kids with her because you know childcare is expensive, and this woman's got to work. I was like, oh my god. And then the girls are just like running around playing with each other. But this woman is clearly like on whatever right. that whatever that thing is you guys have got to look at the uh, sign in packages and things or scan them or whatever, and she's clearly trying to find an address. And I was like, oh my god! I mean, it's and and then on top of that, Becky, the whole P thing. Well, and then here's the worst thing: half the time the app it'll send you to the wrong place, so it'll have you driving in circles. And just so you know, Amazon, um, the drivers for Amazon. They actually work for a third-party company. They don't actually work for Amazon themselves. Oh, I know. That's how Amazon gets out of paying benefits. Yeah, that's that's their whole deal with that. Well, and if you don't make your quota, then what happens is you get let go. Yeah. Are you 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 have a better gig now or are you in between jobs? 
Oh no, I have a better I have a better job. In fact, um, I don't work ten hours a day, and I have a place to pee. Um, <laughs> I don't. All right. I work, yeah. That was I Becky's work, first question <laughs> at the job interview. Do you have a place for me to pee? Because I'd really exactly. like one of those. The bar is really low coming from my old. Well, gig, where do but... you work? Because I want a place where I can pee. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I, look, you I'll tell you what. I got yeah. hired on a Monday. Yeah. Hired on a Monday. You were peeing by Tuesday, to, weren't you? Yes, I was. Yeah. And I was hired on Monday. And then on, let me see. And then on Wednesday, I called and quit my job and said I won't be there tomorrow. That's right. Because I figured this way. I figured this way. If they were going to fire me, they weren't going to give me two weeks. Nice. The guys there, I'll tell you what, though, the people that I did work for, were very, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Everybody had Stockholm but Syndrome. It, okay, well, good. I'm, thank you, Becky. I'm glad that you're in a better spot. And Becky feels our pain, feels our uh, bladder and bowel pain, and uh, she couldn't find a place to. You gals, though, can you believe this is where we live, this country? <laughs> People. Right. Uh, I couldn't pee, and then a woman threatened me out in the middle of nowhere, and it's like, Christ, lady, I'm just trying to deliver this person's two-day shipping on some dumb book they'll never read, all right? Hey, I what just do you want ordered from five me? books on Amazon. Don't start with dumb books you'll never read. Oh, good for you! You know, a lot of people buy books they don't read, Mary. Not everybody's as cool as you. Oh, well. Reading your be. books. They should be. Reading you, your books. Why don't you library them? Why would I library them? She likes to have her own books. I do kind of like to have my own books. I do, too. That's right. I get it, but I well, mean, I libraries up- are pretty hip now. I mean, they you know, send you text uh, alerts when the book's in, all that mm-hmm. crap. We're- I usually am reading, uh, well, I'm not, like, on a flight is fine, but, like, on a beach or by a pool or something. So if they get wet or sand in them or something like that, I don't feel as bad if it's my book. Because your the, the, the libraries don't vibe with your beachy lifestyle. <laughs> no, I just don't want to return something. I don't want to feel like I have to be like I don't know nervous around it, or if I'm eating right. chips or something while I'm reading, and then <laughs> chip dust all over it, or I don't know. Yeah, we went to Cracker Park to go see the movie that my boyfriend and I saw. Uh, what the Stephen King movie? The Boogeyman. The Boogeyman. I keep forgetting the name of it, but. Uh, before that, we stopped at like Barnes and Nobles, or no, it was whatever bookstore they had there. It's Barnes and Noble. Barnes think, and Nobles, yeah. yeah. And I was like, wow, it just seems so nice here. Everyone seems to be really into their book. Everyone minds their own business. I'm like, why can't we be like book gays? I would love to be a book gay and just have like a book club. But you haven't even read the book that Mary got you for That's Christmas. Why I I he like specifically be. asked for Christmas. This isn't like I went out on a limb right. and right. Was like Cody might like this. He specifically asked for this. But he also told us he didn't really plan on reading it. I didn't say that. He wanted the pictures. I did want the pictures, but yeah. you know, I, I don't know how many pictures they have in between or I don't know how many like pages they have in between the pictures so <laughs> you gotta you gotta find out the average number of pages you'd have to read between the pictures I feel like that's my little reward i read 10 pages and there should be another picture of Jarrett like this <laughs> you know? yeah i think you're Different in a very uh, small company of people who want a jared Kushner, a a jared kushner book period usually but when, a jared kushner book for the pictures when i buy books I, it usually comes with like a poster or something something i can hang on my wall you, you never used to buy cds like that back in the day where you know you get some cool little posters I thought, you mean I, the liner notes? The, the the you'd open them up. The when I bought Nicki Minaj Pink Friday, it came with a Why bunch of posters. Why is he yelling? I don't know. He's Nicki full Minaj. Of pee. <laughs> <laughs> Nicki Minaj Pink Friday. It came with a bunch of pictures. Okay. Well, yeah, but she knows she's getting ready to. Uh, or no, maybe it's Cardi B. One of them's getting ready to drop something. Yeah, maybe Cardi B. But I don't know how many people want the uh, Jared Kushner book for the pictures. Yeah, I feel like... Those- you just Google Swedish male sex robot and his picture would come up. That, that's okay. You're saying it like it's a bad thing. But, yeah, I feel like we would be a lot more sophisticated gays if we were book gays. You know, I'd walk in with the sweater tied around my neck and just sip my tea with my pinky up. But you're not that guy now. But I'm not Why a would a book gay. turn you into that? But a book gay... That's book what he thinks gay. people it's, who it, read... It, I was going to say, it's called people who read... Right, I read a lot... I don't walk around with a like it I'm just, a villain in Caddyshack. It just looks like another world. We walked in there just to get some Starbucks, and I'm like, "Wow, it's so clean in here! Like not a book out of play, not uh, not a book out of place." Yes, because you don't nothing, go to bookstores that often. That's why it seemed cute. like that's why it seemed like Valhalla to you. I was like, "Wow, 
It is nice. A little no messy fingerprints. Plus, they, on the wall. I don't, I don't, I don't know how that business model still stands. This is why Amazon steamrolled over everybody because these bookstores, like, they don't even care if you buy the book. They have chairs. Yeah. And people are sitting there reading the books, and then they'd close them and put them back on the shelf. I'm like, how is? No wonder bookstores are gone. There's like two left in every city. Now, because no one is going to ask it, I will. I know everyone's thinking it. Mary's boyfriend is a garbage collector, mm -hmm. and he's out there on the truck 12 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And what is he doing? I'm not sure, actually. I've never asked him. You've I know, never asked. I know he has. So many questions we've asked, and they're the first time they've ever been asked by her of him in their relationship. I don't think this is a common thing to ask. I don't think about it. I'm not thinking about when you guys were dating. You go, oh my peeing. god, you're on a garbage truck 12 hours a day. What do you do when X, Y, and Z? Well, I know that he'll stop like once a day and go to like a gas station or grab yeah, a snack okay. or pee or whatever. But he's not doing that obviously all the time. He might be peeing in bottles. I have no idea. I didn't ask. Would you like to ask him? I will. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, See what he does. Yeah, right. So, also, well, because I sent him like a cute, "Hey, I love you" text, and then now I'm gonna be like, "Also, do you pee in your truck?" <laughs> <laughs> I love you, and what do you pee into <laughs> at work? What kind of uh, jar do you have? Or, yeah, all right. <laughs> He's gonna be like, "What the hell is happening?" Well, that's a good, um, that's a good question to ask. Uh, Pound Hello, King, his boyfriend, uh, went okay. to go see the Stephen King adaptation of the Casey and the Sunshine Band story. Right? That's what it was. Is that what it was called? I'm your boogeyman? Yeah, the boogeyman. Oh, oh, the boogeyman. The boogeyman. Oh, I've been sorely misinformed. So sorry. All right, well. <laughs> Here's the thing. So, <laughs> do you, so I sent this really cute, like, loving text message. I said, also, do you pee in your truck while you're driving, or do you pull over and pee outside, or what? This is information I need for work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love how you had this. We have great work. jobs. <laughs> Uh-huh. You had to give it context. Right. That's right. Just so you know, uh, this is vital to my job, so please tell me. <laughs> vital. That's a great word, too. I'm not asking you, uh, honey. I need your anecdotal evidence yes, on please. what you do please. out there on the big old green truck. Wouldn't it be amazing if they have their own little bathroom? Like, in between the two seats, there's just like a little, it looks like the size of a porta potty small porta potty You sit in there, close the door, and just squat. I mean, there were stories about... Um, there was a photo that went around years ago of like a trucker where his passenger seat was just a toilet bolted to the, with a hole cut out of the floorboards and just Whoa. <laughs> take a dump. And then your truck is uh, obscuring your pile and then you pull away. And I don't know. I mean, you figure if you're pulling over, it's a whole big production to be pulling over your rig. You know, you're pulling over yeah, in a pilot exactly. or something specifically yeah. to go in. 